Well, it seems like everybody's been talking about Space Cadet Pinball lately, so I kind of took on another project, and uh, yes, it is exactly what it says on the title screen. I'm just going to start this and let it do the talking. This is not some kind of weird emulation. This is not DOSBox. This is actually uh, a native port of 3D Pinball Space Cadet. So not all the controls are down right now. It's pretty much just the bumpers and the plunger, but uh, it's enough for it to be considered a basic playable port. And of course, when it gets to this point, I do like to release it. So I think this looks really good on an OLED Vita. The blacks are nice and good, you know, you don't really notice the low graphical fidelity. We'll go ahead and play it. I'm probably going to suck playing through a viewfinder. That's just how it is. Runs really good with all the original sound effects and music. But, in addition to that, you've got all the extras from this port. Now, this port is based on a version of the game. I do not know the original author off the top of my head. It was actually linked in the Vita Discord, and I said, oh, well, why not? Let me see if it compiles. Turns out it compiled without any problems at all. It had a few linker errors. I solved the linker errors, and um, here we go. This game uses SDL for its everything. And as you can see, I am GUI for its uh, menus and everything to replicate sort of the original Win95 interface here. <clears throat> You've got everything here, even high scores. High scores aren't saving for some reason. I think that was a quirk of the original game too, though. Uh, so options are here. Full screen doesn't really do anything. Uh, you can choose to stretch the game if you'd like, but uh, I hate this so yeah definitely don't do that as you can see i've also enabled uh the ability for the menu to to go away and kind of hide uh for the initial port of this actually <clears throat> everything was kind of one-to-one very small size so now we've uh, doubled the font size and we've increased the size of all the controls pretty much everything in here works there are certain ones that doesn't like table resolution Player controls obviously doesn't work. Uh, the toggles for sound and music work. Uh, and then help. Boom. Oh, the original dude's name isn't even in the about. Uh, but I added my own little, my own little message here. And I would show it here. Oh well, here we go. I've got. Uh, the high score entry working. Boom. So I'll just play the demo again. Yeah, so start shows and hides the menu. L and R for the bumpers. X for the plunger. And how we're going to do D-pad or square and circle for the, the uh, tilt directions. But yeah, this was um, pretty, pretty painless. <laughs> I will say that. And of course... So this version of the game is based on uh, an open source reverse engineering project around this. So uh, you will be able to download the VPK. However, you will have to consult your legally owned copy of Windows XP 98, 95, whatever. Uh, you're going to need to get pinball.dat and optionally cadet.dat along with all the MIDI files. You're gonna to have to get those from your own version of, of Windows and place them in the UX0 data folder uh, that this game creates. So <clears throat> if you launch this and you don't have the data folder, it'll make a folder in UX0 data called Space Cadet Pinball. And that's where all the assets go. I pretty much just copy the whole game folder, including the EXE into there. But 
EXE is not necessary. Again, this is a native port. So you get pretty damn good performance. Pretty faithful. And very low memory usage. As you can see, only 52 megabytes used. 24 megabytes of VMEM. Eh, it's probably not that much in textures, but you never know. Very lightweight. Very battery friendly. So the link for the initial build, the first VPK, will be in the description. Of course, you'll have to bring your own data files. And of course, with that link, that'll be a link to the repository where you can either report bugs or build the game for yourself on PS Vita. It's super easy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys.